Hello and welcome to my e-lesson. I am your guru and in this video, I am going to teach you about fuzzy VLOOKUP and this can be used in any version of Excel. Alright, I am currently using Excel 2019 but you can use any version. Let me show you how it works with an example first of all, then I will teach it to you. So I have the company name over here and here are some values of those companies so this is pizza hut 25 samsung 40 marvel 50 apple 100 24 bar 7 23 and subway 35 now over here i have typed in pizza and i have got the answer for pizza hut i have typed sam over here and i have got the answer for samsung i have typed ma that is m a the first two characters and still got the answer 50 i have got the answer for apple as 100 for ple the last three letters and it works with numbers also i've typed in the last two number the first two numbers 24 and the answer is 23 over here and i've typed in the last three letters of subway that is way over here and i've got the answer see i'll show it to you working i'll type in w okay and let me remove this w a y and I'll copy this. See, I got the answer. I can even type something from middle like this. U B. All right. Now I'll copy the formula. I still got the answer. See. So let me tell you how I did it. So I'm going to delete the formula first of all and now I'll start typing it. So I am assuming we all know VLOOKUP. If you still don't know, no problems. I'll teach it here itself. Is equal to VLOOKUP. So what it does it that it tries to look up a value from a table. It will find that value and then it will find a result from a corresponding column. All right. The column number is very simple. The column number would always be starting from the lookup value. So this would always be column number one. So let's start with VLOOKUP. So it says lookup value. So what are we looking up? Pizza. Correct. Comma. Table array. Table array means that area in Excel where your data which is the lookup value and the possible answer may be located so select the complete data like this one okay now i am going to press f4 to fix this data so that when i drag this down it will work all right in case you are using a laptop then a direct f4 might not work then you would have to press the f and key which should be somewhere around your space bar in a separate color along with the f4 key so as soon as i press f4 so this data gets locked so if i copy it it will still be looking at this range only comma column index number so it says okay i will try to find this value in this data now once i found it what answer should i give to you so we say that we need this answer. So this answer is located in which column? So for VLOOKUP, the column number would be 2 because this is column number 1 for it. Why is this column number 1 for it? Column, this is column number 1 because the lookup value is located over here. So this would always be column number 1 and this would then be column number 2. So I will type 2 comma 0. I want an exact match enter and i get n a see no result now comes the magic so this was v lookup had i written pizza hut over here completely i will get the answer now my problem is that i want the answer with pizza all right so i'll make a change in my v lookup what i'm going to do is i'm going to add fuzzy logic to it okay to add this fuzzy logic, I am going to edit this formula. I can double click over here to edit it or I can edit it from here or I can click over here and press F2. Now 
I'll go to the start of this formula and I will type the quotes symbol, press an asterisk symbol, enter the quote symbol and use the and percent sign to join this. Then at the end of the lookup value, which is cell number F5, I will again open quotes, enter asterisk, close the quotes, press enter. Oh, sorry, I forgot to join it. I have to join it. And I get my answer. See, I'm going to copy it down. It works. Isn't this cool? So what we did was this fuzzy logic thing is that this asterisk symbol adds a wild card to this lookup value. So if there is anything written before PISA or after PISA, VLOOKUP is going to consider that as an answer for this. So two wild cards, that is two asterisks before and after the lookup value tell VLOOKUP that no matter what is written before this or after this, I don't care. You need to find this somewhere over here and give me an answer. Now, this can cause to some trouble also. Why? If I type in Samsung Ma, so you will see that the result for Sam and Ma are the same because it found MA in Samsung, hence it is returning 40 for MA. Otherwise, earlier it was returning 54 marvels. If I'm going to remove MA from here, see, now we get MA 50 for marvel. Earlier we were getting Samsung's 44 Sam MA. You got my point? So this is how fuzzy logic works. With VLOOKUP, you add asterisks before and after. Now, depending upon your condition, you might choose to enter only one asterisk, either before or after. So depending upon your data type. All right. Now, don't forget to go to myelesson.org to download this file because you want to practice along, right? And in case this video has helped you, do like it and share it with your friends. And you can subscribe to my channel to be notified whenever there is a new video available. All right. Well, I look forward to your support and your continued viewership. Thank you so much for viewing this video. So until the next video, this is your guru now signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy learning.